Little Abigail Civitano prefers to have a pacifier in her mouth no matter what she's doing. Her mom says she finds it on the floor constantly. If I have a sink on hand, I'll rinse it off in the sink or um, I'll use a water bottle to sort of rinse it. Abigail is healthy, but what if what drops on the floor is food and there's no washing it off? That's where the five second rule comes in. You know, if food is on the ground less than five seconds, then it's okay to eat, but... The five second rule depends on lots of factors where you drop it, what you're dropping, and how long it's been dropped for. And that's exactly what a new study in the Journal of Applied Microbiology looked at, whether there's any truth to the five second rule. The findings are pretty much what infectious disease specialist Dr. Zivin Tutela expected. First, how long the food is on the ground does make a difference. So less than five seconds is safer than a longer time. And wet or moist food will pick up more bacteria. It definitely depends on the food. Um, dry crackers, chips, pretzels are less likely to pick up bacteria, whereas sticky candy, gum, pasta, you know, moist, sticky things are definitely a problem. Surprisingly, food dropped on carpet picked up fewer germs than food dropped on hard floors, possibly because there's actually less surface contact. The researchers also found that almost 9 out of 10 people admit to eating food they dropped. But surprisingly, more women than men admit to eating dropped food. But before you start scraping food off the floor, realize that other studies have found that there's more than enough bacteria on any dropped food, regardless of how long it's been on the ground, to make you sick.